I'd like to briefly describe uh, for you our philosophy uh, involving optimal timing for orthodontic treatment. Uh, yeah, I've been practicing 35 years and frequently I have parents come in and say, you know, all of my um, daughter's classmates in the second grade are wearing braces. Is this the time to start treatment? And actually, that's usually not a very good time to start treatment and there are exceptions to the rule. But most of the time, treatment can be uh, more readily accomplished, optimally uh, achieving results in a very short period of time if we wait for growth to accelerate. Uh, typically, girls' growth rates accelerate around 11 or 12, boys' growth rates 14, 15. So for probably 9 out of 10 of our orthodontic patients, we wait for all the permanent teeth to come in and for the child to be growing at a more rapid growth rate. These are growth models here that show uh, from infant stages to adult stages the sizes of the jaw and how growth uh, takes place with the teeth coming in. This is a model of a six-year-old and you can see the jaw is about half the size that it would be at adult age. And uh, it's somewhat premature to start treatment on these six, seven, and eight-year-olds because they typically end up being in treatment forever. Uh, four or five-year treatment plans, multiple stages of treatment. Most of it is premature and unnecessary. And if we wait till the child grows to a little bit larger stature, they actually grow into their teeth because the teeth don't really grow. If you notice here, you'll see that the roots grow on the teeth, but once the crowns have formed, the teeth don't get any larger. But the face almost doubles in size from age 6 to age 12. So the old adage that you grow into your teeth is quite true. You do grow into your teeth. So we find that if we kind of more holistically take an approach and look at the child's growth and their development and the size and the, obviously their cooperative nature is better at those early teenage years, we find that if we can intervene at that time and apply expanders and arch development mechanics that we see a lot of practices rendering somewhat prematurely at an earlier age, we find that we can treat the patient without removing any permanent teeth and, uh, and achieve those results in periods of like 9 to 12 months, sometimes uh, even less. So we have a lot of treatment plans that uh, only take 9 to 12, 14, 15 months and we can take patients that are severely underdeveloped, develop their jaws, help them grow into their teeth, correct their overbites because they're experiencing accelerated growth at that time.